The gut-brain link in multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis, often called the disease of a thousand faces, it disrupts lives in profoundly different ways, blurring vision, numbing limbs, weakening muscles. But what if part of its mystery lies not in the brain, but in the gut? A groundbreaking study from Germany has done something no MS study has quite done before. By using genetically identical twins, where only one sibling has MS, researchers stripped away the noise of genetics and focused squarely on what might be changing beneath the surface, the gut microbiome. They found 51 microbial groups that differed between twins. But the real breakthrough came from an even deeper dive, literally. In four of these twin pairs, scientists sampled the small intestine itself, where many crucial immune interactions begin. Using germ-free transgenic mice, they introduced bacteria from each twin. The results? Mice given microbes from the MS-affected twin developed disease-like symptoms. Those who received bacteria from the healthy twin didn't. Two bacterial suspects emerged, Lachnoclostridium and Eisenbergiella tai. These microbes may be quietly tipping the balance toward MS. For the first time, researchers showed that these gut microbes can actually trigger disease in a living model. The implications? If MS has microbial roots, therapies might be designed to target the gut, preventing the onset of disease or slowing its progression. This isn't just about bacteria. It's about how lifestyle, environment, and microscopic life can shape our immune systems in ways we're only beginning to understand. It's a shift in thinking, from treating symptoms to preventing the spark. And it started with a simple question, what makes one twin sick and not the other? This video is based on the research paper Multiple Sclerosis and Gut Microbiota, Lachnospiraceae from the ileum of MS twins trigger MS-like disease in germ-free transgenic mice, an unbiased functional study by Hartmut Weckerl et al. in PNS. What do you think about this study? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.